I'm still air drumming, even though the song isn't playing anymore. You know what I mean? We're just rocking. I was out fully out air guitar, yes. Exactly. Yeah, we were. All, that's the only thing is that we people can't see us when we're doing the intro, but I'm always doing that shit. Um, what is going on, y'all? Uh, good to see everybody over here. My name is Sean Tanktop. I'm over here at Casa Day Tanktop, and welcome to the Boba Brunch Breakdown. We are doing episode four of the Book of Boba Fett. It's a full spoiler discussion, just in case y'all didn't know. So if you haven't seen the episode, I don't know what the fuck you're doing over here, but I suggest you get, you get at least like hit the pause. I know there's a live stream, but I think you can pause live streams, right? Or at least you can go away from live streams. Exactly. Make like old Sam over there and hit that pause button. Go watch the episode, come back, and then hang out. And then watch our reaction. And then watch the discussion and stuff like that. So we got we got this whole we got a whole multimedia diet for you set up over here um, uh, to, to keep you regular and uh, success. <laughs> exactly, one hundred percent. And so we're gonna go through the we're gonna, we're just gonna we're gonna introduce everybody right now. But you know them, you know them, you love them. They're over there. It's the Daimyo Draces over there. What's going on, y'all? How you doing, Draces? Jazz hands. We're doing great. We're doing Max jazz hands. hands. Exactly. Absolutely. I'm into it. I'm not going like, to call it the other hands because that'd be inappropriate. Jizz hands? Be, oh, come on, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's, like, like, I'm I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's brunch. All right. <laughs> it is, this it is, is the well, adult well, live stream. It's not for kids. That's true. It <laughs> that's is why it's French. We have alcohol. We, that's true. Oh. That, that's very true. <laughs> um, speaking, Ain't no laws when you got claws. And I mean, and this is, and you know, we're all in good company. We like to keep her in good company because she is good company. We got Maddie K. Ray, a.k.a. Maddie the Pizza Hut over there. And you literally have pizza on the stream. <laughs> Jump into pizza and wine. Having a pizza and wine about it. How are you doing, dear? I'm having a lovely day. Um, as I said before, I was like, I'm going to either finish this pizza before the show or I'm going to shamelessly eat pizza on the show. So exactly. y'all have fun. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. We're changing this to a, uh, what is it, a mukbang channel now? Yeah. A mukbang pizza ASMR. I'm just keeping like... with the brunch theme, guys. I'm eating <laughs> and drinking and we're having a good time. It is. It, yeah, it, yeah, definitely. And I'll, I'll tell you this, like people, whenever they go with a brunch, they go with the late breakfast, which is fine. But the early lunch, like, you know, I rarely ever see people like ripping like a burger or a pizza or something like that on the brunch thing. And so I like that you're kind of turning around trendsetters all the time. Leftover pizza is my favorite brunch. It's pretty like solid, right? Pizza, yeah, like, it's like, and that's like, and that's hangover, that's hangover cure, <laughs> like for days where I'm just like, oh, just, oh. <laughs> give me, give me this cardboard tomato paste, nothing that's just like help me out through this thing right now, even though it is, it is absolutely delicious. Um, and I'm sure that you guys, like, you know, it's it's hard to miss this gent over here. You know him, you love him. Um, he's one of uh, he's he's a he's a fave of ours, a personal fave guest over here. Um. Uh, a part of one of, you know, like, you know, part of a legacy of, of like one of the most incredible shows out there and one of the most inc incredible scenes in TV history. You know him, you love him. The most incredible people we know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, I mean, well, no, he's an asshole, but, I, but like, but the, his work is incredible. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, no, but we have ourselves, Sam Coleman, a.k.a. Young Odor. Um, Sam, it is an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you so much for joining us across the pond, all the way over in the UK. We appreciate you, sir. How are you doing? Yeah, good. The uh, the Draces are doing a little jazz hand duo. So I'm doing a, wait for it, jazz hand solo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> oh my God. I do need to get a button for like an air horn whenever somebody does like a nice, like like a dad joke, like air horn or something mm -hmm. like that. I think that you needs, need like of... an outer rim. Hear me out. Hear me an out. Outer... <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What, 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 what? Jizz hand solo. Thank you. <laughs> 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 oh my god, jizz hands. Yeah, that would be so <laughs> Yeah, get the get, get the whalers over here was and the other one that I just figured out, this is like a little this has nothing to do with the episode necessarily, but I did for I remember the first time it, it's a special time in every Star Wars fan's life when you figure out the band leader of the Jizz Whalers name, which is Figrin Dan. Yeah. What? Figurin, Figurin Dan. Oh, he's what? out here fingering yeah. Dan. You no, know? no, fingering like, Dan. But like, like, you know what I heard? It was like, well, if it isn't fingering Dan over there, and you're just like, what? <laughs> kind of. That's just like a. Like, he got like, the thingies. If there was no, no, and he's got the thing or whatever it was, but it's just like, what is like? I, just if you, if I'm in a bar and I'm and somebody and a guy is playing an instrument and they're like, who is that? That's Finger and Dan, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be back on this open mic. I don't think so. I'd like to, I'd like to point out this comment that you guys have corrupted Maddie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what? 
bold for Dan to assume that I was not already like this. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. That's the only. Re- that's the only reason that we thought that we could bring her in. You know what I'm saying? Like that's literally the only. It's just like what was oh, down wait. at Con of Thrones stays at Con of Thrones. For exactly. Y'all know. Absolutely. It's like <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. It's like she's she's a disgusting shit monster just like us. So like we're gonna. So that means that we gotta we gotta bring her into the fold and be friends and stuff like that. Um. So just uh just a um a uh just like a, a heads up just for everything again full spoiler discussion we're gonna be talking about everything in the episode we're gonna kind of go not going beat beat for beat but we got ourselves a bunch of prompts and stuff like that talking about um like our mvps of the episode our favorite scenes like things that we think that we could change a bunch of different things over there easter eggs all that type of stuff um just so you guys know um if you guys want to make sure that you get into the conversation because i know that we have a lovely group of an, an incredible like the I, it almost makes me angry that i can't like fully engage in the, you know, in the conversation that's going on in the chat and stuff like that, because it is so much fun and there are so many cool things that are going on in there. But if you want to make sure that you guarantee that you get into, into the, um, uh, into the conversation to have us like at least pick up something, either a question, a theory or whatever it is, it is for a super chat amount for any dollar amount. And that gets you, um, we'll make sure that we either, if we're, if it's about something that we're talking about at the moment, we definitely will pick it up then, but we will absolutely save it for the end of the, of the, um, of the discussion if we aren't able to get to it right away. So and remember if you super chat any amount of money, you are legally allowed to fight me. You are legally allowed to fight Maddie. That's definitely something that Maddie's over. That's like, Oh my God, <laughs> finger and Dan has to stick 50 years. <laughs> He's not playing. <laughs> He's not playing any homecomings. That's for goddamn sure. Absolutely not. That's no, the um, things are only forty feet. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's like tickling the ivories over there. But yeah. So anyway, so anyway, we're gonna move on um, uh, from this uh, from this here thread over here. But um, uh, so yeah, just make sure just hit us up with a um, with a super chat if you want to guarantee that you get into the discussion that we uh, highlight your comment or theory. Or questions. So, um, what we got going on right now? We're gonna lead, as we usually, as we always lead, um, with the General Kenobi thoughts of the episode. This episode, which is episode four, the Gathering Storm, it was directed by Kevin. Maddie. It was directed by Kevin. Oh, uh, what is it? Tranchion? What did we say? <laughs> Tanchion. Tan- there Tancheron. we go. Tancheron. You know what? It's, I didn't right. have Kevin- it. Up. Kevin it's Tachyon. Kevin Tachyon. Tachyon. Kevin Tachyon. Oh, Kevin nice. Tachyon. Cool. Right, exactly. <laughs> no, so it's um and written by the Fabs, written by John Favreau. Um uh, Tancheron. There we go. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Exactly. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, <laughs> so uh we're we're kind of dealing with that. And like uh, you know, I, I think it was I like this episode. We'll we'll talk about the general thoughts. I'll I'll throw it over. Actually, let's throw it over to the to you know the guest of honor over there. Sam, what did you think about this here episode, this fourth episode? Yeah, so I thought it was it was a nice little episode to remind us that um, Boba has a little bit of grit to him and has a little bit of sort of strength and muscle to him because he, he's kind of been softening up over the past few episodes. You know, he's mm, definitely you know he's he's made some lovely friends and you know uh, he's he's sort of decided to rule with respect rather than with a sort of an iron fist or whatever. Um, but then you know we have moments like the Sarlacc pit when clearly. That guy's metal as fuck to go back into that thing and to, right. you know, for all of that to happen. Um, d- the bikers blasting the bikers when they may may not have even even done it, but he's just like <laughs> <laughs> he's the a little mini there. genocide there, you know. Um, and then you know the the group meeting, you know, where he sort of strong arms them into agreement with that little like rancor moment. Like, he was flexing. He had some big rancor you know, energy over there for sure. That was not that was not like a knights at the round table thing. That was clearly like I'm in charge here. Right. Yeah. And no, so I, I, think that that was good. That's, I think that's well said, Sam. I mean, like, insofar as like the it was that's something that I think people have I think that it, you know, I think that it has a little bit of merit, you know what I mean? Like insofar as is as, as like, you know, we're getting a, bo- a Boba Fett show, and I think that you know, people were expecting like a little bit more of like kind of what we thought we were gonna get with uh, with um Mando originally, at least up until up until Grogu showed up, basically, like where you know he's cutting dudes in half in the doorway, and it's like pretty hardcore. It's this like kind of Western thing, and not that this hasn't been those things, but this is a bit more. This has focused a lot on Boba's kind of like redemption arc, kind of in a way, and like and turning 
you know, what once was maybe a nefarious force in the eyes of, you know, and, and a badass, like in the eyes of a lot of Star Wars fans into like more of not even like really like an anti-hero, like just like a straight up hero. You know what I mean? Like in, in, a, in a certain sense. And so and so like the uh, yeah, I, I think that and him kind of going back and settling the scores was pretty fucking brutal like it's about as brutal because everybody i remember i've heard some people like has boba fett even fucking killed anybody in this fucking season and i'm like he's vaporized like a bunch of a bunch of people like on the a train. significant amount of people yeah like yeah like you know what i mean yeah and, and so like it's not that it's i think it's just kind of one of those things where i don't know i guess like maybe they were just had maybe they were just expecting it to be super badass shit like all the time um but this did kind of bring in a little bit more of that grit so i think that that's very well said sam hold on hold on we got over here. Hold on. We got his, oh DBA the Big Apple. Who has a better back to tank? <laughs> Who has better back to tank? Joni's Luke or Boba? <laughs> I gotta remember what Luke was rocking in there. Um, Luke was rocking well, full diaper, full adult it, it diaper, man. Basic, yeah, full adult like diaper. You gotta go full diaper. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, like because you kind of don't have like because you're all set. Like even in or out of the back to tank, you're fine as like, far as like, what's going on. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Like they made Boba's look so uninteresting and like sterile that they don't even want to think about like like remind you that this character has to poop whereas luke is straight up wearing a diaper right. straight up <laughs> and you're like oh yeah exactly. diapers are can be for poop sometimes he's like he's so, just like yeah or like or you know like they always pour like blue liquid into like the things or whatever he's pouring the blue milk <laughs> it's like oh my god and it's funny that they use blue because it's it's the opposite color of red because yeah. they're like we don't want to like because it's it's for pad it's like for pad commercials and tampon commercials exactly. right and they're like we don't yeah. want to like remind you that yeah. women bleed and it's like right. you could just fucking show us right that could right be a thing that you could do <laughs> yeah like <laughs> right it's like it, it would be a little rough if it was just, i think that was like a bit from like an old snl thing like imagine this imagine this entire picture of iced tea is a gallon of my own feces and they just like <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's an old SNL bit over there. Um, dude, dude, fucking Mayhem 74, keeping it rocking. Hello, Bring I'm in the Mayhem, if you will. And this is the Battle of Finger and Dance. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to keep it going, but we're going to try to move on over here. Uh, but not that we don't appreciate it, not that we don't encourage it. But um, uh, no, so th- shout out to the DBA. Yeah, I think I'd have to give it to Luke. I think Luke kind of has it because it's like, whether he's in the back of tank or out of the back of tank, I think that he's kind of got I mean, he's he's situated and he's fine and he's going to be okay no matter whether he's in or out. So I think that that's okay. Um, uh, Maddie, general thoughts about this episode? What did you? What did you uh, think about? I thought it was a swing and a miss. There are moments that I liked, but for the most part, I like had to remind myself to continue to pay attention to the episode, which is not really what you want in a Star Wars episode. Um, I did I did try though, and I you know I did have to rewind it a couple of times, but I made sure I saw everything, and I was just like. Like when is the when is anything gonna happen? Right. Because I didn't I didn't hate and the stuff that happened. I thought it was interesting. Right. Um, I just think that this episode really like cemented like a chemistry problem with mm. with uh with uh Tamara and uh, Mingna. And I think that oh. like and there are moments where it really hits, and then there are moments where it's supposed to hit and it just doesn't. And I'm like something is off here, and I can't figure out what it is. But I'm just like. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I mean, I I understand what you mean, and in, in so in the in so far as like you know, basically up until maybe there's a component of that where it's like they kind of like you know when they when he you know at the end of at the end of C, of of Mando season two, like he can, you know he shoots Bib Fortuna, he throws him down. They kind of sit in the they sit in the in in the thick throne, and then she sits right next to him, starts chugging like whatever kind of weird alien booze that they got over there, and they look super badass. And it's kind of what they've done, like is is like short sentences how's it going on Boba Fett, yeah I, you know, think or it, whatever. I think it's a writing issue it might yeah. be a writing issue or or a delivery issue i'm not sure i don't know but right. i it like really hit me in the face this episode when in previous episodes i was like no nah, i can kind of see it but i don't care i'm having a good time this yeah. episode i was like there's not enough here for me to like be super excited right um i was stoked about you know we can get into it but like I, I was very much like, oh, like, this is something that I thought is different. And I don't I don't hate that they're, like, you know, making Boba. I, I love, you know, as we talked about last week, mm-hmm. I love what they're doing with Boba Fett. I think it's right. so interesting. I think it's so cool. But right. I'm just, like, kind of, like, all right, there's a way that you could do this. 
that that serves both the story and the actors and i mm. think that like one of them is not being served and i don't know which one it is and you're it's hard to know yeah. right i mean and it's, and it's because it's like it's, it's it is one of those things where you're just like have we had like i think that they have had some but like have we had like a kind of a substantive like conversation between these two people that wasn't kind of just like so you want to yeah, so, so yeah. you ride out tomorrow yeah, are you and it's like no this. i'm not and like yeah. whatever you know what i mean like and that's, yeah. and that's kind of it you know what i mean like but but again like it's it it kind of goes back to sort of like the initial problem kind of with boba fett as a character it isn't is in he's kind of been a suit and they kind of have to build that kind of up they have to build it from the in from the outside from the scratch, in, which is like difficult yeah. which it should not be as difficult as it is but right. they're they're just like i don't know like like Carcass says that Morrison himself agreed that Boba should not just talk as much. I don't think that he shouldn't talk as much. I think that he should say different, more interesting things. Mm-hmm. Personally, like there, there are things that there are things that Boba can say that I'm like, yes. Um, yeah. But but if there's a disconnect between, and I think this might be what it is, if there's a disconnect between the actor, the storyteller, and the story, mm. then if all none of those are talking to each other or agreeing on anything, then you're gonna get kind of like a half-assed scenario which sure. i think is what's happening here sure 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 yeah yeah so. i can see it i think there's some merit to that well the says, what do you got over there for your general thoughts on the episode I thought it was fun. I mean, even even in our reaction, I was like, "This is a weird episode." It <laughs> is. It is. It's, it's weird. a bunch of weird yeah. shit happens, and it's just kind of funny. Like, there's definitely some. I agree with Maddie about the chemistry problem. Um, you know, the fact that they're just making Boba Fett like Groot. He's like, "I am Boba Fett." Like, <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's cool, that's man. A good idea. Great dialogue. <laughs> you know. Um, and, yeah. So I thought that. There were some things that were, were a little odd, you know, like we'll talk about a little bit later where, you know, Morgan was like, yeah, like we heard from Fennec that they, the bikers couldn't have killed that whole tribe, but yet like he just goes and fucking murders them all. Absolutely. And like, Annihilates yeah. them. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah, brutal. So, right. but I had fun with the episode. I thought that there was some really fun stuff in it. I thought there was some, some, neat moments the mods and i wasn't down on all of it i love the mods i love i love a lot of moments of this episode but overall right, it was right, just right, 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 anyway i'm sorry i don't need to talk over over all of you i just wanted to reiterate that i did like some yeah. episodes of, right, some moments of, course, of this of episode yeah no maddie we 100 thought that it sucked and you're quitting star wars <laughs> forever no i know yeah no, 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 i would no, love no. to quit star wars forever do you know how stoked i'd be it'd be amazing <laughs> i can't fucking do it my brain Unsha- will let me i made, I made the rot unshackle me from this leviathan that i i got no, but anyway, sorry about that, Dustin. Keep going. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no, I think it's the same thing with me. I had a lot of fun watching it, but mm. you know, I'm greedy where I'm like, I need more information of like where we're going. And it got mm. a little bit like you finally you got cemented a little bit more Boba's mo- motivation to take Bib's throne. Cause I was just like, why does this like bounty hunter who's kind of a free agent who just like signs on and takes jobs to get money? Why would why does he want to rule? Like, not that job doesn't usually lend itself to wanting to be like the guy having underlings. Hmm. So when you're a bounty hunter, you're just on your own. Right. So I was like, why does he want to? But now I'm getting it that he has seen all these jerks in charge that have hired yeah. him just he's like oh they're all assholes like what if a nice person maybe, nice, but- maybe it's he has a biological imperative and his daddy clock is just exploding and he <laughs> wants to have a family he wants a family <laughs> and that's how he got the daddy, Boba daddy. to, that, to yes. that stripe though i think that there is if you're if you're thinking about him as far as like and how they've kind of drawn him coming from the prequels and shit like where he you know like was basically like a a loner pretty much his entire life he's either hanging out with his dad or basically by himself i know that he's had some they've had they've profiled some of his adventures and some of his stuff that's happened like in the clone wars and some of the other animated animated stuff that um um but like <clears throat> essentially been like on an island you know what i mean like unto himself and it mm-hmm. seems like the stuff with the tuscans has kind of awakened his kind of or maybe reawakened like a sense of family and like you're able to accomplish like you know pretty extraordinary things like if you have that unit and i think that's what he's trying to set up um i i think it's like it, it is a little you know it's just because it, it would just be like well then you know like find the rest of the tuscans because cl- clearly they're, they're all not dead you know what i mean but like yeah. he still wanted to get, but he still wanted to get his his armor and stuff like that but i think that that's kind of the through line i think it's a little 
it's a little messy in like how you sort of get there. But I think that that is kind of ultimately what they're trying to kind of like say with this whole thing is that he was once like, you know, he found his strength as like a single entity. And now he wants to, you know, he's clear. He's trying to fucking start a fucking union over there with like all, with all the other fucking, with all the other, uh, all the other felt the, the the crime lords and stuff like that. That was that was probably my favorite scene. Maybe we can talk about it. But like, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed watching him like politically mach- machinate. You know, to, mm-hmm. whether or not he was good at it. Like, I was like, wow, we're doing something great. Yeah, like totally. It, it's a vibe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I think yeah, I, I think that it was there is there's I, I think to to kind of piggyback off of you know everything is that I I I enjoyed that this episode had a bit more teeth in some sense to, to Sam's point, like Ah, where you mean beaks beak. Well, there were some beaks and teeth and there's a, you know, big fucking, (laughs) you know, big fucking butthole in the sand. You know what I mean? Like, 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 (laughs) like, I mean, it's it's all there. Wait, you never thought that that was a butthole in the sand, Maddie. Come on. This can't be. I know it is. I just forgot about it. until you reminded (laughs) me while I was eating my pizza. (laughs) I've never seen a speed, a pizza spit take. That's, that was pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm good myself a fucking high five for that one right on the um no but the um and it, yeah i think like i i liked that that it kind of got a little we got a little bit more of the ruth like kind of the ruthlessness that i think um that i think like should kind of be a part in the lexicon of of a boba fett kind of show or whatever it is but it's like one of those things where it's like I don't know. It's like, um, you know, it's like, ah, I got to make sure that like, I'm going to have two beers in a shot and then I'm going to go home. But then he stays out a little bit later and it kind of gets the best of him and he starts kind of getting like kind of ruthless or whatever. I think that that's kind of an interesting way to sort of take it. But then it was just like, it, 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 but, but I will say it did. I will say that I think that this, this episode kind of gets a lot of big points for me because it seems like we're done with the flashback of tank. I think so. I think so. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, think- I would, I think, I mean, like, uh, Sam, do you think that we're done with the flashback? With, with like, it seems like at the end of it, they sort of, they seemingly did it with editing, with, where they kind of like said like, oh, we're kind of done with the back attack now. I, think, was, yeah. I think I want them to be done. I think we're going to get a secret, a secret flashback. One more secret flashback. One more. One more. Because right. I, I don't think they can let that bit go. But right. I would love to be wrong. Right. But yeah, it, it, we, did, we did get that bit where the robot was like, that's it. No more back to tank. <laughs> right, where it's like you have been. You're yeah, audio. yeah. He's like, you're done. No more flashbacks. Right, a little bit. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was just like your 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 flash <laughs> your flashback therapy is complete. You know, or whatever it is. Oh my god, hold on one second. We got to take. Yeah, a I know, time. right? What the fuck, Diana over here. What? One hundred. Um, uh, in, in, yeah, unbelievable. Honestly, the show feels like Robert Rodriguez and John Favreau playing. With their Star Wars toys, it's endearing and it can be fun at times. I mean, she's not- right. <laughs> I yeah. absolutely agree because it's like, why did he blow up all those bikers? Because it looked fucking cool and it was yeah, fun. It was yeah. Fun, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and it doesn't. Yeah, we got to see the fire spray. Why did the twins give him? People. Yeah, why did the twins give him a rancor and didn't train it to be- immediately eat him? Because because we, we want to see toy. our Boba Fett toy on the rancor toy and. You- Oh, he that's right. They had him on top of that, and they watch and they watched the Star Wars holiday special where they shot. They saw him show. He showed up like riding a gigantic monster and stuff like that. No, no, no. I think I think that's actually very. I think that. Um. Uh, and I'm not saying that just because you threw down for a super chat, Diana. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really not. But I think that that's actually a perfect way to kind of watch this show. I think that you know. I mean, like, cause yeah. It, it, it it never. I kind of always. Or I had the feeling, you know, that there's, it's like, you know, not to say that I don't think that he's necessarily Ant-Man, but it's like, the, it's like Mando is like the Captain America through line movies, like when he gets a solo movie and stuff like that. And then there's like the Ant-Man and the Wasp. And like, those movies are fun, but like those movies aren't playing in like as central to the, to some of the, it, it's a little more auxiliary, I think, to kind of like the main through line of yeah. some of those stories. You know, I don't uh, know. The yeah. quantum realm was super important for infinity. War. No, 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 Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd saved everybody, by the way. That's true. Uh, that's very but true. Uh, maybe that's uh, I kind of feel like, you know how they always say that like every Adam Sandler film is just an excuse for him to go to Hawaii with his family and film. Like, I feel like the, 
the Star Wars universe with with Favreau is basically an excuse for him to write off buying all the Star Wars toys on his taxes. He just wants to like, but he's like, I had to buy it for research. I needed this obscure Star Wars toy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna work it into the script so that my accountant doesn't like call bullshit. Right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I would do. A little write off. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He no, owns wait. a fully functioning back to tank. And yeah, the only like, way he, he could get out of the red on that one, he had to do this show. Oh right. my god! Stop oh it. my god! So right, well, but 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 uh, uh, shout, shout out to shout out to Diana. Thank you so much, my dear. Like that's that's tr- truly. You're right, and you'd be right even if you didn't give you'd us that right, much money. Right, right. You'd absolutely. still be right. Yeah, even if <laughs> there wasn't that dollar amount like we'd still be going like dude fucking speak on it like you know what i mean we'd totally be rocking that um uh so yeah i think well we'll move on um we'll get we'll, we'll give a couple other things to look over here we got ourselves our fave scene of the episode maddie what was your favorite scene of the episode i think you might have even mentioned that a little oh bit man before. so so the definitely the like the meeting the mods like when boba rolls up on on his uh what is it bantha when boba rolls up on his bantha and like you hear this like weird ass daft punk music and then like <laughs> they make like eye, con- eye contact with like these very cool like mod modded out like cybernetics people yes right. yeah and you're just like is this tron is this tron it's like, trying to get happening? a little tron there yeah. and then thundercat little... shows up and you're yeah. just like i'm having a hell of a good time like mm-hmm. and and even even like <laughs> ming no win like the the dummy of her that they made to do that prosthetic scene <laughs> is so entertaining because she's just like dead. She's just like excised, like fully in almost every shot, and right. it's hysterical because you're like, haha, Fiddick, like Fiddick Shan's dead. But then you feel bad because it's Ming Na Wen, and right. you know everything's gonna be okay. So like all the pressure's off, right? So of you can fully enjoy the scene. Um, but I really, really loved that. I loved that he was like, oh, fucking come on, and. But was like, are you gonna put her back up? And he was like, and hide all that beautiful work? Hell no! Like, <laughs> right, right, it's right, so exactly. like, it's it's so like such a different tone of Tatooine in like a really good way. And I think this is like more of what Star Wars like the stuff that we don't we don't follow cameras around people in Star Wars. I think it's you know just like people hanging out, like modding their shit, looking cool, like being dicks, and it's great. Yeah, it's awesome. And like presumably the because they're called the mods, right? Well, I think that's kind of what we've, I mean, I I think that's what, I don't know for a fact if we've been like, if we're like, that. those are the mods, but I right. know that the, the internet is kind of. But like, the mods, yeah, but, yeah. so the, the mods on Tatooine and the, and the mods like that, that later end up working for Boba, like, were like to, meant to synthesize that they're the same or that they came from the same group. And so like, you see this like follow through of like. Boba taking Finnick Shan to get healed from the mods and the mods fix her up and they say they slap her ass and they go good job like you're done <laughs> and and then like and then it, that money presumably went towards continuing their business long enough for like you know oh. biker girl Eilish to come in and be like listen up like let's let's fucking go and right, then like right, right, so right, right, you right. see this like beautiful like economic or economical like continuum that i really yeah, appreciate, yeah. That's, so. no, that's, i think i think i think that's that's an interesting point i mean like yeah, yeah thundercat I, does rule dustin thank you yes <laughs> rules. like yeah the um no I, and again like another you're absolutely right um uh with the uh like a little bit of the of the tron legacy miss of of some of that of that initial kind of thing going on but again like it was so tron like the the synth like everything about the audio in that scene where he's walking up and you're like what the fuck is this music i was just my brain was just like tron and if you know me at all you know that i'm always looking for tron legacy anywhere tron. everywhere I, if it's there i'm gonna see it i'm gonna find it i'm gonna zone in on it and i'm gonna be like that's tron yeah <laughs> and that better be on the soundtrack because i'm i'm buying that a thousand the, 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 honestly the soundtrack to this season of, of or not to see the show has been my favorite thing by far. The the score is amazing. Right. Uh, the fact that we heard the the Mando like little blurb for a second is really yeah, interesting. Yeah, like, yeah. Cool shit. It was great. Yeah, that was also, fun. Big Apple, one of the Boba's mods is also on the Yellow Jacket show, and it took me out for out of it for a second. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, I love like she's amazing as Nat on Yellow Jackets. Everybody should watch that show, Yellow Jackets High Rise. But like, also, yeah, like I love that they're getting these like up and coming character actors to come on and like do stuff. And I, think I, I have a question for Sam about that. Uh, so oh, yeah. when she auditioned for the Star Wars, she did it in an American accent and a British accent, and they told her to use her British accent uh, as a as a Brit. What do you think of her accent? Oh, she's from Chicago. Um, she's Chicago. 
So it, it 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 is very American doing a British accent. I would say that, <laughs> yeah. that, that was one of the that was one of the moments that took me out of it. To be fair, I went, "Oh, you're not you're not British," um, Sorry, because Nat. it's that yeah. very like I'm I'm British and <laughs> this is how I speak. Mike um, Dino, like, you know, like and I think I think Dino in particular because that's not a word that you can hear a Brit say very often. Right, 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 so right. She, like, she, but I love that. I didn't know that she was from Chicago because she'd be like, yeah. she was, but she'd be like, it's like whatever are you talking about. You want a Polish or something? Like, or, I you know, wish she did like, a straight <laughs> Chicago accent. That yeah, would right. be so good. That would be Chicago great. forever. That's what we. That's what we <laughs> Not just not not that we again because we've talked about this Bill Burr we've talked about this Werner Herzog I do not need a space I mean maybe I do but like a we space need a, we need a space Chicago yeah like we like need a, like a space planet, Chicago a plane a, a space Chicago North is like hey we, we need gotta to get go. a space George went right right <laughs> so what I got what we got to do is we got to go down to the, we got to go down to the, to the space jewels and get ourselves a couple of space beers and after that we'll be okay don't worry a couple of a couple of space Michelobes it's gonna be fine. You know space well, so there, there's so much exactly. space Burlington. Yeah, no, 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 no. I get no. Oh, yeah, no. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> there we yeah. go. One hundred percent. But I, there's a lot of Tron Legacy love in the comments, and I love that so much, guys. I just want you to know that I go, I searched on Twitter Tron Legacy uh, to see because I was like, I wonder what people are saying about it yesterday. Right. And I and you know how it like suggests a couple tweets, but then it's like here are users to follow. Guess who was the first fucking user? You. Ah, there you go. Like, okay, <laughs> like, like, it's not to my own horn or nothing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hell it was yeah. very joyful. If you guys don't know how hard I go for Tron Legacy, that's how hard I go for that, Tron that Legacy. That motherfucker goes hard for Tron Legacy, no <laughs> doubt about it. Sam, what what, what was what was your favorite scene of this here episode? What do you got to say with it, bud? Uh, so I was going to pick the uh, the little political shindag because. Mm. Being a being a part time politician myself, it's kind right. of a jam. But um, I, I actually I actually decided it was the 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 BK fight in the in the in the club. Yes. Um, and the moment that's clinched it for me, I think, was when the little dude um tried to like bottle BK with the with the sugar glass, and I was like, the the, the, the spunk you need to have this massive Wookie who's like tearing your your friend's limbs off, and just to be like. You what, mate? Ugh. Yeah, right. And and with, that was with, the most like, British like thing in the show. Tiny too. glass, too. Like you know what I mean? Like because it's just like you just look at this guy yeah. and he's like he's like he's like Night King throwing everybody like all over the place. Like he's fucking Jon Snow in fucking season five and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like it's just like tossing guys, and then you're gonna come up with like a beer bottle. Like I don't think that's gonna do anything against. It's <laughs> not gonna do anything, sport. but it's all you got. You gotta roll up. You <laughs> gotta like, show yeah, up. Yeah. I gotta protect your bros, you know. It's like these are these that's are my true. Crew. That's like, true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope oh, no. I hope they shared a beautiful, like, romantic bro moment after that, where they were like, "Thank you for taking care of me, bro. You didn't say me, but I saw you. Thank you, bro." Right. And like, no, 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 bro. Like, no, no. And he's like, he's like, bro, I lost an arm for you, bro. <laughs> like, look at my arm. Like, take years ago. Someone said back. that like, they grow back. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But apparently, it's like it's like a long and kind of painful process. Oh yeah, because they're like, lizards. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was hoping he'd come back first... as like a mod with like a robot. Oh, like, yeah, just circumvented. Oh, oh, I like that. Like Robo Space Lizard, fucking sign me the fuck up on that shit, man. I'm down. Hell yeah. No, the um, the it's like, oh, I love this. Like tattooing is the Chicago of the outer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm mean, not like, wrong. We, I know. Not wrong. Like, we did see like, why does everybody have mustard stains on their fucking shirt and shit like that? And like now we now we know why. You know, like now we now we understand why what the deal is or whatever. Um, you know, and also yeah, I mean like and also I think I've adopted that one saying. It's like one of my, it's like I think it's my favorite. It's my favorite line of dialogue in any Star Wars anything. When uh, when uh, when Owen is talking with um, when Owen Lars is talking with uh, with Luke Skywalker, he's telling him to stay away from Luke from Obi Wan Kenobi. It's like it's just like don't go around there. That wizard's just a crazy old man, and that's a sentence yeah, that I try to why. say at least once a week. Like you know what I mean about one of my friends and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Everybody's talking. He is. Yeah. And Bosk like. Or like, or like, not the boss, but the the Trandoshan like will have he'll have like a little baby, <laughs> like a little Deadpool oh, like, baby, um, Deadpool. like Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, like, <laughs> it feels huge in his hand, you know, like or whatever. Ah. <laughs> I mean, like I mean, it's sitting right there, you know. Um, I, I think that um, well, your yeah, favorite scenes, Traces. What do you got over there? What was your guys' favorite scenes over there? No, no, Dustin. Mm -hmm. Which one was yours? Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I actually did, despite what I had said about it going on too long, I thought the mod scene was cool. Yeah. Uh, I, just, yeah. I just wanted it to be shorter. Did I liked it. Did you know it. that one of the kids in that was Ming, uh, wa- was a kid, her son? Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh. he was in there. Oh, is That's he the cool. one that, is he the one where, like, when they walk in, he gives him, like, he gives Boba, like, this really shitty stink guy? Probably. Probably. I was looking dude. up stuff on the internet, and I'm like, what? Oh, that's cool. I wish my mom was, like, a famous Star Wars actress, and I could be an extra. That's pretty There cool. we go. Fun. That could be, oh, but okay. mm-hmm. my favorite scene was, uh, I liked the, I liked the chef fight. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Swedish chef fight. Because that's the silly shit that I like in Star Wars. I like silly droid it was fight so shit. Muppety. It was it, so I love Muppet. I like it when Star Wars like gets into puppets and Muppets and droids yeah. and I- right and all that stuff. And that little guy, that little rat catcher guy, was like he was he was a little fucking king, dude. Like I love this little guy. Like oh, it was. Yeah, he was he was pretty good and very and you can obviously tell like this is very much like a practical thing like that they came up with you know what I mean and I love all of that shit but yeah like when he was pulling like basically like a Ginsu Grievous like on it <laughs> yeah. essentially or whatever it was like you know like you get that guy to fucking get Grievous to like sh- him and Grievous like selling stuff on like on like H on like HD TV or something like that or whatever it's like it slices it dices <laughs> like like or whatever it was. yeah <laughs> I'd be down for that for sure. Um, um, uh, any other favorites? So, so it, that was, and I did, I remember I said it in the video, but I definitely thought I had like big little mermaid kind of energy with them, like running around trying to the yeah. kitchen, like fucking the Sebastian, kitchen up, yeah. like trying to kill him and shit, which I thought was like, which I thought was pretty great. Um, I'm trying, trying to think about my favorite scene. I mean, like my favorite scene, like was like, I think it was a very simple one. Um, and it was because it was about as close as we've come to having like a kind of like big character moment. And it just looked beautiful was like after Fennec had like had, had been fixed and that kind of little moment of body horror of her waking up and seeing this thing was very kind of like chilling, but it was like just a beautifully like kind of realized scene, like kind of like at dawn or at dusk, I think, or something. And like, I, for some reason, like I was like, this is mostly because Fennec is like, you know, I mean, it's super badass, but it, it's, it's with both of them. It was interesting to kind of like watch like a little bit of, I, about as close to as, as close to tenderness as I think that either one of these characters can kind of like have, you know what I mean? Like within, within this, this show thus far. Um, but yeah, so like, I, I really loved, like, I loved how that scene looked. I loved how it operated. And that was kind of like, that was, you know, and it was just, it was just characters kind of talking with one another. And that's something that I think I love all the boom, boom stuff. I love all the fight stuff. I love all that shit. You know what I mean? But I also, I, I appreciate it when they kind of like, when they kind of go, uh, when, when they kind of make, make strides to go in that direction. Um, I, I might've added myself a little bit before, but we'll get to it before, but we got ourselves the episode MVPs. Who is your most valuable player? And this can be a character. It could be an actor. It can be a crew member. It can be whomever. Um, but uh, I, I, I'm very interested to hear what everybody's got to say. Sam, you got an MVP for this episode? What did you got over there, bud? I have, and uh, it's 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 Mr. Goranson, Lud- Ludwig Goranson, the the composer for this and Mando. Yes. Um, I mean, already yes. I love the, I love the sort of the theme of of Boba, and it's always quite the, that sort of chilling drum beat. Yeah. That sort of hits your heart and starts like changing your your heartbeat and all of that stuff. But then that little Mando tweak at the end, I mean, yeah, it was cheesy. It was camp. It was very obvious. It was yeah. like throwing your piano at the screen and saying, music, music, music. Right, right, right. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like just that moment of, because I watched your reaction and you did it at exactly the same time as me. That moment of saying like, wait, is that? <gasps> well, we know I what's mean, happening. No. We know what's coming. You know, I love that. I love that. That's how you know. I mean, that's how you know that it has. It, it is. It is approaching, if not already, kind of to the iconic level status. Like we're literally just like a sting, two seconds long or something like that, and you just mm-hmm. know that, like, oh, that means that they could be. That means that like Din Jaren could be coming into this story at some point or what what have you. And I think we'll kind of we'll get to that. Like I think when we talk about like. Uh, when we get to like the, our speculation kind of portion of the episode, but you're absolutely right, Sam, where it's just like, it does. It's the power of the, of the medium where it's just like literally like just two, like a couple of, of notes over there. And like, you're like, Oh wait, something's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, and one of the most, not a special effect, not anything, but it was like one of the most like kind of like charged at like 
moments of the episode, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That, that's sort of like, wah, yeah, wah, 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 wah. I love when a score becomes actually more iconic than the media, like, like, I, like the Stranger Things theme. Like, right. yeah. it became, it, it is one of the most iconic things. I mean, it's actually stands stronger than the actual show itself. And I right. think that Ludwig has been doing amazing work in the Star Wars universe. Like, all mm-hmm. the Mando stuff has been so, so fucking good. Totally, totally. Uh, Maddie, what do you got over there for your MVP? Uh, my MVP is the Rancor coming in <laughs> at the clutch moment when when they're all at that political dinner and they're like they're forgetting that they're in Jabba's palace and they're like oh why why should we care what why can't we just kill you and like take what we want and and then the Rancor's like but like <laughs> leave my dad alone <laughs> like you couldn't like there's no way he could script that I I would love to like say that like the Rancor is like emotionally connected to boba and right. like or could or had enough social understanding to understand the situation and was like this is my moment <laughs> you know like that's what i want that's what it is well or i think like- the rancor is kind of like the space dragon yeah. like the dragons in game of thrones were very much like mm. the rancor where they will imprint on their mother or father or their rider so there is some sort of weird like there might be a psychic connection there between so Tyrion's going to be a Rancor writer. <laughs> yeah, confirmed. confirmed. <laughs> right, right, right. I like somebody say nobody mentioned the Sarlacc pit scene. I mean, like that the Sarlacc pit, pit scene was was good. It actually it had a big um, like kind of a, it had a jump scare, which I was which I'm, I'm I mean, which is something that you don't like really yeah. like expect in a Star Wars movie necessarily or in a Star Wars media for the most part. Um, but it's not, but, uh, you know, and, and definitely gave us a charge and it was like, and also just again, like kind of bringing in, you know, like a perfect kind of marriage of like, of, of like, of, of original trilogy and prequel trilogy stuff, like killing the Rancor with a seismic charge made famous. Or the Sarlacc pit. Sarlacc pit. Or the Sarlacc pit, the Sarlacc pit, the Rancor. Yeah, yeah no, we've been doing, they, the Rancor, I did the same Rancor thing. was killed a long time. They both got pits, like, don't worry, like, they don't at me. Pit. Yeah, 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 they both, like, they're both, <laughs> Both the pit boys. Oops there. among <laughs> us does not have pits. Right, right, right. <laughs> Sean, Sean certainly has pits. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Very true. We all know Sean's pits. <laughs> um, I mean, like, I which like ones are Sala? Was... Which ones are Rancor? It's like, that <laughs> Rancor. It was like I call this one Sarlacc and this one Rancor. <laughs> <laughs> And I both love them, and I both love them equally as much. Um, yeah. no. No, that scene was super fun. I think the problem was that we, as an audience, knew that his uh, armor wasn't down there. So when he's doing all this stuff, mm. we're like, we already know you're not going to get what you right. want. And he, was, and, of- and he was also he was. I remember somebody kind of pointed that out, like where he was kind of like he's like like he didn't even though he was awake, and he was like he got knocked out by a Jawa, like. Like they took his helmet off and then they knocked him out. Why does he think that it's in there? He might not remember. Like he, no, no, he might. And I, 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 he might have just been of in a drug, haze you know? of. Yeah, he's he's in a haze of whatever. He's, he's been in fucking, fight or flight. He's yeah, he's he was burnt to death. Uh, no, no, I mean, yeah. so I like I could see that, but I remember it was like where he he like looks at a Jawa and a Jawa looks at him dead in the eyes and was like, "Go fuck yourself," <laughs> and, like, and knocks him out. You know what I mean? Like so, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. If cartoons taught me anything, you bought people on the head to make them forget. That's true. Well, and then you bought them again to make them to make remember. it come back. To make it come back. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, it's the same rules as VCR. You just bop it. <laughs> yeah, right. You just, you just that's how they work. Punch your VCRs. That's bop how they do it. That's you might you have to twist it. You might have to. What is it? Bop it. Turn yeah, right. it. Yeah, it. Yeah. Twist yeah. it. Bop Pull it. it. Yeah. Ciao. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Drace, you guys got a, you guys got an uh, MVP over there for the episode? What do you guys got over oh, there? Oh, I got four. Wow. You got four. It counts because oh it's four guys in a cow suit. <laughs> 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 my MVP is the four dudes in the uh-huh. cow suit, especially the one that operates the tongue. That right. was so There's cute. T- <laughs> when he gives them, he's like, you want some? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, so I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Oh, there scene. it is. There he is. He's it was done. like and, and like the tail wagging and like all that stuff. It kind of like it's just it's really 
again, like these are just they, they've always just kind of been like auxiliary like things in the background. The same thing with the Tuscans, and they've just been given like so much life. We know that they can go like start families and have babies and like go make a baby Bantha. I was just we were just like, yes, and also get the fuck off screen. And she's like, so you can I survive. know I'm going to get a career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a working girl. Have you now. looked at the have you looked at this planet? Would you raise a baby Bantha here? I don't know. <laughs> It's like, oh, is it? Is we have Bantha... devastated our natural environment. The we are like an exploited planet. The the Bantha's like everybody, like from millennial generation <laughs> on, where you're just like, do I millennial. actually want to raise a child in this hellscape right now? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I'm, I'm with you on that for sure. Yeah, oh the, my other, God. the other thing with the with the Banthas is they, I think, they remind us that Star Wars is camp. Like, yes. when all the yeah. when all the bros are like. Oh, it's not enough action. When they're gonna fight each other? When's the lightsabers gonna come out? You know, and then suddenly there's this like clear like pantomime like, oh, boom, boom, yeah, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's, right. it's it's just a little reminder. Like, oh, by the way, this is this is yeah. You know. No, and I think and I think again, like, kind of go into the roots of it, and that's but that is the stuff that I think. I don't know. I think that's the stuff that sticks with people. It's like, like, it, it, and like, and it's, and again, it's like, it's a thing that exists and the light is hitting it. And it's like, you can see it. And I don't know, like there's, 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 there's some real like, you know, artistry, like kind of at work as far and performance at work, like, like making that thing, making that thing um, um, happen uh, and everything like that. The um, uh, Dustin, did you have a, did you have a MVP for the episode? Uh, I was going to go the, uh, the rancor. Uh, yeah. He's a, a primo negotiator. Yeah. <laughs> She's Justin and I on that same level. <laughs> I'll give it, you know what? Fine. It can be a she. I think she's she. Didn't they say she? You just assumed that. The previous, <laughs> the previous Raincore was definitely a she. We haven't heard the gender of this one yet. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I don't, know if they, like, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Danny, we, we, sure. we, until Danny Trejo says it, it shall not, it, when, when Danny Trejo says it, it shall be so. Um, also, more Danny also, Trejo, please. Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, where'd he go? I love that uh that Boba Fett is basically the same as as Aang, where he's like, What's that? I want to ride it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like he's yeah. like, like the okay. he, until he sees an animal, he's like, mm, I've ridden bigger, but I'm gonna ride it. Like a bent so cute. Like a bent yeah, so yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. I mean, I, I think that yeah, I, I think that the rancor and it's gonna I mean, you know it's gonna oh, happen. I, that Boba called it boy, but oh, okay, ah, sure, sure, sure. There okay. You go. But he could also just be sexist. Yeah, 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 right. It's true. <laughs> That's the thing that could be happening. Yeah. Um. The the like I think that the yeah like the rancor. I'll be very excited to see like if we get like a a rancor training scene of sorts, or if they're going to kind of leave it towards. Not that I think that you have to have training fucking scenes for shit to make sense in Star Wars. I'm not fucking getting on that train or anything like that because I think that they could just kind of wait. Like they could hold it just for the big reveal or whatever it's like we're just like yeah we, we've been we've been working for weeks but i think that i want to i want to see some more of that bond between them kind of being formed and stuff like that kind of in, in in future episodes while they're gearing up to to go against the pikes and to go against whoever the fuck it is that they're going against um i was i'm not gonna say, i won't even say that i mean well no no i mean like you guys cover i was gonna get a couple of my mvps because i'm actually gonna switch my mvp into um, a clunky moment um oh, okay. uh which wow. is now now that i think about it i think that's what that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna switch it up so we're all good with the mvps i think that we named off a pretty a, a good amount of them over there we're moving on to like i said the mcclunky moment a moment that you thought you could either change or could have done been, been a little bit stronger or whatever what have you uh Drace's, what's your mcclunky moment over there what do you guys got for me even though it looked cool, I don't understand why he obliterated the bike race. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. Especially because, so far, because he of saw that them line of has to, Yeah, and they also, we saw him, his history with these bikers is, he's seen them, like, hassle and beat up people. Mm -hmm. He's seen them hassle and beat up people, and they're just kind of bullies. Yeah. And But he beat them up and stole their bikes. So, like, Three then he, yeah, he stole their bikes, and then he murdered him so like almost like he's the aggressor here like they're well, jerks right and a menace but right. you straight up murdered them mm -hmm. right I well, unless I think... he believes that they killed the tuscans which fennec told him that they couldn't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. people are saying that they that that they did like and kill the Tuscans, and, and like we don't know that necessarily. I mean, like well, I know that they, they wrote have the their thing. bikes back, maybe. 
they have their bikes back so maybe that's mm. why he was like well they have their bikes that means that they went to the tuscan so if they didn't do it they were there yeah. so okay fair uh, yeah. maybe i mean i think i morgan i will say it, it, it is it is it a little murky yeah you I know how we would find murky. out is if he took a survivor and interrogated them. <laughs> Take a, one of those bikers, please, and dangle them over a Rancor pit. Well, like he's, a, he's, a, he's a do as I he's a do as I oh. say, not as I do type of guy. Because he, remember, he fucking wastes that one dude. Yeah, like, yeah, completely yeah. vaporized him, and he's like Fennec alive, like or whatever. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you could have shot that guy in the leg. Need one, you just yeah, yeah, need yeah. one. Right, right. He just needs one. You know, he just Amazing. needs one. You know, even though I made the uh, the Rancor my MVP. Like somebody else in the chat said the same thing I thought. We're like, you're gonna be like a bunch of like, you know, mob prime bosses, and you're gonna go have dinner over what you clearly know is a trap door it has to, to be. a rancor. No, pit. they thought they didn't that, know um, that the rancor was back. Exactly. They thought because uh, it very famously died. I, yeah, yes. I feel like that tale but, of that but, rancor but died. The, the assassin didn't know that it was he was scared that it was still there. So I don't know that it was famously That's known. That's true. That it was dead. That's true. Why was the assassin scared? And they probably I, and, and, would, they, and that would be Fennec something said the same. That would be <laughs> right. And that would be something that, that that would be something that Jabba would probably keep on the DL because like that's yeah, yeah. like a big intimidation mm -hmm. tactic where he just like where he just like don't fucking tell anybody like don't be talking about a turn after school like telling everybody yeah. that the fucking rancor is dead like i you know there's some fucking some asshole in some black pajamas came over and fucking killed him with like a bone or <laughs> something little Chanel like, boots. like like we're not you know like we're not <laughs> you know, i'm not gonna we're not, let's not telegraph this shit like i don't want this stuff getting out so i can see yeah so I, that's a fair i think that that's not a that, that, that's not an unfair uh um uh, i think gripe over there d i think i can see where you're coming from with that shit for sure uh sam what do you got over there what you, you got a mc mcclunky moment over there for us sir uh yeah i think i think it, it as as great as it was i think fennec's a little mod scene he just went on too long as dustin was saying there was a that was that was the first moment to be fair where i looked at my phone and forgot that i was watching something it was because <laughs> the halo is it's great and the music was great right and she, there she is getting modded and the music's pumping, and she's he's got like that weird, and... he's got that weird like kind of like I, like a bowl mixer like thing on his arm or whatever yeah, yeah, that's kind of going crazy. He looks like the thing that Stanley had to cut Thor's hair in fucking Ragnarok, where he just like oh, sure yeah. whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, but it just it just needs to be that little bit that little bit shorter because I like the music was good, but after a while it became a little bit repetitive and a little bit mm -hmm. like. Okay, yeah, no, I, I'm with I, you. I, I, want, after, I want to hear the theme tune again now. Yeah. yeah, after that, like, like after the first little bit of the of the specific, like the the montage of the transformation, the music drops off significantly because it stops sounding like Tron Legacy, and you can quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> and if it didn't sound like Tron, Tron Legacy, then you can fuck the fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Coastside, Manny K. Ray, <laughs> like, 2022. Um, the... That was one thing I noticed that was odd to me was when they pull up. Because I'm always really paying attention to like a lot of scores on and shows, and I was like, when they pull up, you clearly hear muffled, this muffled music that sounded really, really cool. Mm. And then they get inside, and it's different music. It's different so music. Like, yes. Yeah. What yes. was the muffled music? Was that coming out of someone's car? Like Fucking vaporwave shit. Over I think there, maybe it maybe was they had so to walk cool. past. I think they maybe had to walk past the waiting room of all the mods, and so all the oh. mods were having a dance party in the waiting room. <laughs> but then they go downstairs into the little like operating theater or whatever, and then right. it's like, oh, yeah. this is lame music. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, did you guys see in the chat that from Christopher Miller saying that that was a a super battle droid arm? That Thundercat had. Interesting. Ooh, I didn't pick wow. up on that, but he, he might be right. That's that's dope. That needs to I mean that that makes sense and it's super cool if it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's an interesting thing. Well, no, Ooh, I, yeah, re, work, I always Chris. I love like the the repurposing of or just you know just like when when they you know I I even though I I've been on record like I'm I'm not the biggest fan of like the prequel era stuff at least definitely the films I think the shows and some of the other stuff is like a lot better but like the um but I love it when they speak to one another I love it when these mm -hmm. worlds talk to one another I love it kind of like when they bring kind of synergy to both of those trilogies and to all you know all the trilogies like and and I really enjoy that stuff it's like yeah like that is that's a really fucking cool like little fucking detail good catch good catch with uh but by mr miller over there um the i'm trying to think like 
Um, who, who else got a McClunky moment over there? Maddie, you got a McClunky moment over there? What do you got I over do, there? I do indeed have a McClunky moment. First <laughs> off, before I get into my McClunky moment, I just want to shout out Chat, who has been talking about, I can't believe one of the bikers and the mods was wearing a was wearing a denim jacket. Blah, how terrible. I would just like to remind everybody that Han Solo wore denim blue jean material for the original trilogy <laughs> with <laughs> so, pirate boots and with Amber wore boots. a denim like, jacket sort of ish <laughs> like like denim is denim is a it's a worker's material it's sure. durable and it's long lasting so of course it's going to be in star wars because that place is a fucking fascist shithole so of course they're all going to be wearing denim because that is like the sign of the worker and wasn't um, there like dark, wasn't there like a jeans guy? Wasn't there like a jean jacket guy that was like a crew member that was just a in a very yeah, yeah. in a couple yeah. of frames of Mando? So we already so that's already been well, that shit's yeah, already like jean, denim, jean, jacket, denim a a jean jackets and B like jean material exists it was in Star Wars. And has you know, um, in Star Wars since <laughs> right. I think it was in response to uh, the last episode, but but one of the original um like costume designers for the show like had like commented on the fact that there were zippers on some of the mods clothing and they're like wait what the fuck is this i was told there are no zippers in the star wars universe and they were pissed because it would have made their life so much easier uh -huh. if zippers were on that everything has to be like buttons or like kind of like like sarongs or tied or yeah. you, you, when you think about it like there are no zippers in any of the, of the ot so like that was kind of what was funny. They're like, what? I could have been using zippers this whole fucking time, right? There's and also I zippers visible in, I. it's either TLJ or Rogue One. I don't remember which. It's one of those, like, you know, when they do the long shots of, like, the, the rebel scouts that are right. in the towers mm -hmm. with the guns and the stupid helmets? Right. Um, one of those guys, the boot is, is a zip up, but it's, like, covered. It's also, um, like, because there's, like, a cover over it to try to disguise it, but it's, like, fully a zipped boot. And um, you're like, oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Like... Yeah, right. And it's just fine because I don't, that's not why I'm, that's, I am, if I'm going to be pissed about Star Wars, I'm not going to be pissed as zippers. zippers right. I would be pissed. I'm I okay lived, with that. I would be pissed if I lived in the world of Star Wars and you had, did anybody have like jeans that didn't have a zipper and it had like just buttons? I have, yeah. I have a pair of those. Back in yeah. those days. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, but I, but those were, I hated those so much. <laughs> See, like, mine like, mine come off just as easily as a zipper does. Actually, sometimes probably easier because I find I have to like fix them more than I usually would if it was just a zipper. For but, sure. But like 10 out of 10, I can definitely see how annoying that is Boy, because yeah. zippers don't look cool and spacey. Or, or sorry, not zippers. Um, Buttons, like a row right. of buttons don't look cool and spacey. Like, yeah. Zippers like, are like, like, make invisible. But right, yeah, right. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like hold on, we got like, to get into Buttons the work on uh, uh, Ewok villages. Yes. Mm -hmm. They can have buttons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, they can They're little teddy yeah. bears. They'd bring you a button. Yeah. Bring but my McClucky yeah. moment, I would say, is um, just the the like weird like con inconsistency and in chemistry between mm. between Mingna and Timra. So mm. yeah, yeah, I, I I know what you mean. Where it's like, I I guess it's just it's it, I think it's a confluence of things that are kind of going into that problem. Mm -hmm. I think it's like it's it's like. I, it's been the a bit of the refusal of this entire Star Wars television enterprise thus far to other than other than and I never thought I would say this other than that fucking Bill Burr scene in in season two. You're right. Like 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 where two actors are just are are having a subtle dialogue tense like what you know what I'm saying like where there was there was like um. I don't know. I guess like subtext. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, subtext. Yeah. No, you're right. This, the, I think that was my big problem with this episode is that ever like everybody was just saying what they meant, and it was just out there, mm. and it was just like, okay, now I'm doing this thing. Okay, now we're doing this thing. Okay, I think we should do this thing, and like also like Finnick is supposed to be like a master assassin, and I totally support that, and she's just like saying the obvious thing, and Boba's like, wow, I didn't think of that. Like, <laughs> right, 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 like like. <laughs> To just like give me like give me like one scene, 60, 90 seconds long, where it's just them like talking gear. It's like, no, 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 wait, wait. Do you what's like you do you like that rifle? It's like, yeah, I don't like that one, but it jams up on me too much or whatever. It's like that's the way that you can like get into some of the nitty-gritty of the world, but you can also build some character and stuff like that. And so 
Yeah, I don't know. Um, like they also shout out to fucking KK Bruegel boy. We got we got Kenny's mm-hmm. in the chat. Oh over here. my god, hey Kenny. <laughs> Morgan, Morgan, I just replied Morgan, I just replied to Kenny Morgan on Twitch. Morgan stepped in here. He's one of the sweetest guys ever. He's like, I don't want to you know I'm listening. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but we're just like we're just Kenny in a nutshell, just like hanging out like on our fucking DJ streams and stuff like that. And I, just, love, I love the mean. creative emoji use. It's right. Very <laughs> oh, he to, to loves an emoji. You should I see love that emoji. Me. I can't wait Love to, to go to go back to, to maddie's point though um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hey kenny um the, <laughs> the, the one thing i did like and it could have been written better there could have been more sort of like mech talk and gear talk but i did like the fact that we had a we had a male and a female sitting together on screen and they weren't flirting they weren't mm, being sexual they weren't, it wasn't like you know boba was not there going like oh fennec look at your new modifications <laughs> you know which is you know, one of the things I guess let Star Wars down, I guess, but then I guess it's from that era as well. You know, right. definitely. Every, every sure. guy girl conversation is always like, well, will they, won't they? Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, Flirty Heidi. And I just enjoyed these two folks who are both tired. They're both well known. They've both sort of gone off the face of the earth for a bit. There's no pressure. Just being like, huh. Oh, so, um, yeah. Hey, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> How are you? Right. Absolutely. No, I'm with that. <laughs> Um, uh, my McClunky moment um, is something that some people have been saying a lot, uh, a little bit over there. Um, again, or, or, again, it, it remains to be seen. I think it might not be a McClunky moment if kind of what happens, what I think is possible that happens, if it does happen. But if they doesn't, then I think it's a missed opportunity. Um, but uh, again, shout out to, to Diana. Madam Garza rules and Jennifer Beals. If, if I, I, I will say this, I, I, I do think if she just shows up and kind of gives like a kind of a warm madam platitude every fucking episode, like she's ba- like, and, and isn't, doesn't turn out to be the secret big bad. We will have mm-hmm. fucking wasted a tremendous opportunity. I, feel. I agree. Like, I actually that. got so much of like, I think that she has way more to her than, than we are, we are being told from this, from her scene in this episode. Like yes. truly. No, it's been, uh, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's cause, well, again, it, it's sort of like, it's kind of like where I, I, I she's, she, I, she's turning into the Moff Gideon of this show, where I'm just like, can you say some, can you say more than fucking 10 words per episode and look incredible? Because I know that there's just, I know that there's just a lot more promise there, I think. And I think that that is, is, and, but again, I could totally eat shit, which is why I'm kind of going all in on it. Cause I'm mostly wrong most of the time. And so me doing this is going to kind of hopefully turn that horse around and we're, and she's going to, she's going to, you know, end up being like a very, a force to be reckoned with, I think in the it, later in the season and stuff. And I hope that that's what happens. Um, but the um, yeah, but I, I think just like it, if, if this continues, it will be like my McClunky moment of the entire season is them kind of not like utilizing her to to where to what I think that she w- would be capable and what I think that that character would be capable. Also, mm-hmm. Garza Whip, call me. <laughs> there we go. 100. Oh my god! I think that she will be a secret bad guy, though, or at least I hope she will be. Knock on wood. Hopefully that happens. And we're getting over to the all too easy Easter eggs, like little. And this could be anything. This can be music. This can be like you know Star Wars lore. It can be kind of fun casting or whatever the fuck it is. There's a tons of different things that we can do for that over there. Um, Maddie, what is your all too easy Easter egg? What do you got? So the one that made me chuckle, like a little, like a little, <laughs> like <laughs> like a little gremlin, was when uh, when Fen- Ch- Fennec Shan says singing like a yuzum. Which is the the singing creature in Return of the Jedi? That's the Yuzum. What is what is their name? Uh, jo- <laughs> okay, I like that. That's good. Joe jo- Yalza. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. So so the person singing that terrible song is a Yuzum, uh, and absolutely as as awful as you remember. Um, and I also like that they, that they gave a little shout out to Polymoto, uh when they were like, I hear there's some good can't. Uh, good mechanics, you know, etc. Like that was fully like a, a oh, Pelimoto call yeah. out. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Didn't, didn't we see her we walk past a, or a a, a Amy Sedaris a look alike? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Definitely. We did. Yes. I love She's that. That's there. pretty like that's pretty slick. Right on. Any uh, any like Amy Sedaris reference that I can get, I'm just like I'm there for it. Thank you. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> used to be a used to be a boozer and a loser. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> 
I heard the mechanics on this planet stole the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, Drace, what do you so got much. for your uh, your all too easy Easter eggs over there? What do you guys? What, what, was, what was your pick for that for this week? For me, yeah, uh, yeah. I actually had missed this in earlier episodes, but he was there in the BK fight. Uh, the uh, little droid that was doing cards mm-hmm. when I was a little kid, because my dad lived in California, and I'd have to go out there every summer to visit him. But he always promised to bring us to Disneyland, so I took. The I was on that Star Tours ride. Oh, Star in Tours the, in the nineties a lot. I love. Star I was on that. Tours. I love it was Star the greatest Tours ride. I think it still exists, but they it changed does. it. They, yeah, they updated it. It looks really good now, but like it, it still got like now you can go like you can like roll the dice on like whichever era that you're in because they have they have Star Tours for every era of Star oh, Wars. Oh, wow. It's so That's cool. right. Yeah. Was that from the ride? It, it... That little guy, it's Captain RX-24. <laughs> but it might be just like a similar style of droid. It might not be him. But he's Captain Rex. Maybe he got fired because the Star Tour, he fucked up our tour. He oh like God. almost crashed the whole ship. So incredible. He was no. a very bad pilot. So he probably lost his job and now he works at a casino. Now he's got now he's got to deal cards in a casino him. or whatever. Is. That's what I love about like Morgan, because like <laughs> because like you know, like she's a giant fucking nerd. Well, no, no, no. I just love <laughs> like, like, like how how laser focused, like like because again, like Morgan is like one of the smartest and most knowledgeable like people like on on the stuff <laughs> that she is interested in. Like if she's like, <laughs> like, like that's like, true. Like, that's extremely like, true. Yes. Like other than that, like she's basically like like most of most of the media that she consumes is kind of like a it's she like goes a, hard it's like, or not at all. It's like, like a snack. Yeah, it's it's like, it goes hard or not. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, one hundred percent. But but I love that yeah, like droid creatures, <laughs> yeah. Batman <laughs> villains. The entirety of The Witcher would get out. Well, no, no, no. And remember that one time where we tried, like to, con- we tried to convince, know. we tried to convince, um, we, uh, Morgan that, um, that Luke Skywalker killed Darth Maul, and we're just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, and she was like, he did. What movie was that? in? it was amazing. It was just like no, but I, but no, 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 but but that, but that is why. But 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 again, like, but then you, but then you turn around and you know, you know that guy's name. You guys know that all the stuff from Star Tours. I love it. I've you know taken I mean? like, a couple Star Tours. Yeah, a couple, couple, two, three Star Tours. That's how you, that's how you get that information to stick over there. But not um, surprised that he's a casino guy now because he wasn't very good. There you go. Yeah, obviously not. Uh, Sam, what you got for your all too easy Easter egg over there, my friend? Okay, so so I want to talk about the uh, the Gamorreans' outfits a bit because I've I've had this little thing that's been creeping up. Um, not like that. Um, a little sort of thing about <laughs> <laughs> potential like queer baiting in this in this in this season oh, of Boba Fett. Interesting. Um, and Tell me more. Uh, TLDR, um, you know, a, a big hairy woogie wrestles with a, a naked, oiled up guy in 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 some sort of like boxer shorts, and then a load of like twenty year old like mod looking teens come along and join in and then he rolls down the stairs with on his pig buzz you know anyway right. aside from that um the, the gamorians uh i was convinced in the original star wars wore little leather like jackets wore little leather leather little leather like waistcoats. right yeah and and then in the scene where he's like peering through his little binoculars at these gamorians they're there again they're wearing little leather waistcoats and most right. of them do so what i want to know is at what point when he was recruiting these two gamorians did he say Take the leather jackets off. <laughs> wear these. Wear these harnesses for me, please. Um, because I mean, those Gamorreans would choice. fit That's in choice. in like uh, at, at Queen on Sunday night in Chicago. Like, <laughs> yeah. they're circuit gays. Yeah, yeah. Did right, you not right, notice yeah. that they were just circuit gays the whole time? <laughs> just... so Harness. Was... And a, and a jock strap, and that's all you need. So that's all you need. That's all you get. Maybe that's why there's no sexual chemistry between Boba and Fennec, because maybe like Boba's like, if you want to work for me, you got to put on the harness. <laughs> take off the top. You know. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love are that. Are you though. wait? Are you implying that Fennec Chan doesn't peg? <laughs> oh. Well, Is that you know. What you're implying? <laughs> she perhaps, probably perhaps... got it. In- She's probably got it in the end of the of like her rifle, like you know, she pulls out like a knife or whatever it is in there. Oh. And there's a there's a plug just right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> pretty, like, I'm pretty sure. Like, listen, listen, listen. Whatever else I know about Star Wars, which is fuck all, I know that Finnick Shag Chan pegs. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> that's canon. Right. That's also, canon. when are we gonna get our Gamorian nasty pig? sponsorship right yeah true the nasty pig underwear yeah nasty pig underwear. i like that well no Make sure and, 
it would it would also like stand to like I w- wonder if they're like oh yeah like <laughs> next thing you know there'll be a couple of pigs in a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would stand to reason as to why these guys are always fucking late on the trot, like yeah, coming in, like why yeah. they're always because, like you know, because like they just got caught, like they just got caught fucking in the bathroom. They're in the honeymoon like, oh, phase. Fuck, like, gotta go save the boss, you know, or whatever the fuck it is. Like they never why... leave the honeymoon phase. They're always there. They're always there. They're always there, man. Just a couple, just some, just some, some, <laughs> some green, <laughs> green peg. Hold on, green pegs and ham. <laughs> <laughs> Oh if you've got the strap, you could be in my crew. You can be right, right, right. <laughs> exactly. Very happy that this is the one my stepdad decided to view. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. He's 70. He's got to learn this eventually. Yeah. He's got to get there eventually. Absolutely. He's like Googling terms right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Gamorian? Hey. Who's that? It's like Gamorian, Gamorian pegging. Hey, are you kidding? Sounds great. You know, like or whatever. I can see him saying some shit like that over there. <laughs> oh my god, that only works if you know Kenny. And I and I've have I was lucky to meet him over the past year. Um. Uh. Okay. So moving along, um, we are going to go over to always tell me the odds. We're going to be talking about what we think is going to shape up here in the story, plot points, et cetera, so forth, a little bit of speculation, cameos, et cetera, so forth. Um, and also just another another reminder, we've had some incredible, thanks, again, big shout out to the Big Oppa, big shout out to Diana, amazing super chats. We thank you guys so much. That was incredibly generous and we can't thank you enough. But if you also want to get, because we're, we're coming on the close, this is one of our last prompts before the end of the fucking stream. If you want to get in the conversation, Hit us up with a super chat, and that will guarantee that your comment, your theory, your question, or whatever is makes it. Remember, you can comment. legally fight me for money. You can fight her for money. Come on over. Like, <laughs> so we're gonna talk about always tell me the odds, where we kind of speculate as far as like what we think is gonna happen, and a couple of things where we think the story is going. Dre says, "What do you got over there? What do you think? Uh, what, do you, what do you think ahead for us? I think in these next, either it can be next episode, the whole season. What do you guys think?" I think I make the mistake with these shows on like reading too deep Mm. into like, I bet there's a secret big bad. I think they're just going to play it straight. I think the Pikes are just going to be, it's, it's, it's a story about uh, uh, unionizing all the crime Lords to get the colonizers to stop exploiting the resources of the planet Mm. uh, to boot off the Pikes so that they can exploit the resources <laughs> mean. Right. honestly honestly that's what's yes. gonna happen and we're not we're not saving the world or nothing we're like but yeah like but they're like we want to be able to fuck up our planet you guys get out of here uh so i feel like that's but if, if we do get a jennifer beale big bad i could see maybe a stinger of like mm. her meeting with somebody and being like man the pikes yeah. they didn't they I was getting the pikes to do my work and it didn't work out. So who are we going to, who's the next person? Right. Something like that. But like, I don't think it's going to be like a big secret. That would be totally fine with me. I would love if that happened. And I loved it. I would love if she reported to Kira because then you would have like holocron (gasps) Kira to mirror, to mirror Kira talking to holocron Darth Maul. And I want, right? that, I want that. That would be cool. No, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, no, I, Morgan, I, I think you're right. And I think we've also, it's like, we've kind of had, we've, we, you know, like we're kind of past like the WandaVision, like, you know, fucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, God damn it. What's the devil character? God damn Mephisto? it. Mephisto. Mephisto confirmed. confirmed. <laughs> like, you know, like we Kira kind of confirmed it's a new Mephisto confirmed. I, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're just like, we kind of like, that's, it's, 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 it's the thing that's, fun about it but also it's a bit of a double-edged sword about like online discourse and online fandom is just like how just like whatever whatever fucking motherfucker has some harebrained fucking idea and if it gets if it if it if it gets good to enough people then they're like oh well that's what it has to be otherwise this this is a bad show and i think that sometimes those suggestions are really really good and i think sometimes those suggestions are ridiculous and so yeah i i i think that's a very astute little uh <laughs> astute little thing oh we got ourselves a couple of super chats coming in over here um clagane bowl but it's bosk versus bk which i i'll watch it same fuck yes i mean like i like again like i think that just having because everybody again you notice nobody's fucking nobody's talking about Cade bane anymore 
Everybody's that, that ship, the, or Cad Bane, Bane, or whatever the fuck Cad his name is. Yeah. Who, whoever that blue guy is, who that blue weirdo is. Like, whoever that blue weirdo is? Yeah, 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 whatever. You know, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. He's awesome. I know, I know, I know. No, 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 no. But, but, like, you know, everybody's like, you know, it's like, it's like, but nobody's kind of talking about that anymore because it seems like that ship has kind of sailed. Or at least because we all know Cad Bane is showing up in Ahsoka. Thank you for your TED Talk. There you go. Absolutely. No, no, no. I think it makes well. I think it makes more sense in that show too, yeah, especially. Does, you sure. know what I mean? Like, not so much here. And so, like, but like, we got all these trans doshians. We got all these tra- trans do- trans doshians. <laughs> there's, tra- there's no way all those doshians are trans. No, but the, uh, <laughs> you're but, telling me all these doshians are trans. You're telling me all these doshians uh, are trans. Some lizards don't they change their sex they, 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 yeah, on yeah, depending they, on they, temperature? They, true, exactly. Yeah. So they do transition. So exactly. they could. It could be absolutely so. so no, it's Disney though, so they're not going to tell us. Are that's they? very true. Yeah, that's very true. Or they have to. Or they have. They have to. They have to kind of very slyly because that's been kind of like some people have been talking about how the fact that there has been, um, like, like a lot of kind of like trans identity, like, poly, like you know, things with elements within this show with the mods, like where because before mm-hmm. we've only we've only we've always known like getting like a, a modification is because you lost your hand or like you were gut shot or whatever. And these people are like, no, like we want this. Like, like this we is a part of school. This is a part of who this is a part. This is a choice for me. This is who we yeah. are and stuff like that, which I think. And again, it, it, you know, is, is that exactly what they're doing? It's hard. It, you know, unless somebody comes out and literally confirms it, it's hard to say, but it's an interesting thought. I think you can't um, have, you can't have transhumanism in your story without like, without like the the association and the assumption that you are also cool with trans rights because like that is the thing right like yeah that is 100%. like that's the whole point that one of the many points of transhumanism is to transcend your human biology mm-hmm. which is literally a like a trans idea and i right. think that i think that i know why star wars is not talking about it but i think it's doing a disservice to star wars to not talk about it 100 100 percent. but uh, in, in as far as like clegane basketball or whatever it is it could happen um, I, I, I just think that the, the Trandoshans would be a little more up and f- would be a little more front and center as like, like it, it would make sense if you were to make the Trandoshans the bad guys instead of the Pikes. Yeah. Then yeah. like a heavy hitter like Boss coming in would make a little more sense. I don't know if they're just going to throw them in there, but a girl can dream and that would actually be super fucking fun and shit like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. Um, and, uh, we got ourselves Jim, Norton, Jim Norton's alcoholism, Luke Skywalker in final episode. <laughs> I mean, I, I doubt it. Um, I would, I, but I'll tell you what I wouldn't put past is, is Han Solo. I mean, I was just about to say, remember like, like three episodes ago, we were like, Han Solo confirmed. confirmed. Like, <laughs> just like, they hired the guy. They're bre- he's on set. Indiana Jones is filming. Confirmed. It could. It, it, I mean, could, it, it could definitely happen. The Han Solo will be in Bo- Book of Boba Fett. It by could Sean absolutely Hancock. happen. I don't I'm, want it, but it could, it could happen. No, it could. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I mean like. <laughs> Wait, I would be okay with it. Hear me out. I would be okay with it on the basis that if if Luke Skywalker gets Mandalorian and Boba Fett gets, or then Han Solo gets Boba Fett, then that means they're going to give Kenobi to Leia. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Ooh, that would be mm. interesting. Because they was... just cast, uh, what's her face? Uh, Ramona Flowers. And they're, and someone, someone big brain on the internet is like, Leia. Oh, She's going to no play shit. Leia. Oh, that would be <laughs> wild. I mean, like, well, no, no, no. I, I like, I, like, I will applaud and go for that. Like I'll be like yes, let's oh, wait. Let's do that. Know. If we're if we're going to do it, then let's just get some real actors that can fucking like yeah. tele- telegraph yes. an emotion that can just exactly. take the role over and shit like that. Like that is, I I I, I am not. Uh, I I am I am so far. Like I'm I'm a I'm an anti CGI dead actor. Like not dead actor, but actor like 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 extremist. Like I don't want it to exist, and I don't think that it needs to. And I and I don't know. I just think that. Um, I, I but I, I'm still like 40%. Like, they could just do it, they could just fuck it. That CGI do it. Like, is coming to take our job. <laughs> do I want them to do it? Not necessarily. Can they do it in a way that makes sense? Absolutely. Will yeah. I be happy if they do it? Like, okay, so here's my thing. And I, I got into a Twitter fight about this. Like, I'm fully on board with this. <laughs> wait, you okay, can wait, Maddie, you get in Twitter fights? 
<laughs> Boy, do I! <laughs> so like, no, so like here's here's my here's my beef. Like Luke Luke Skywalker gets to be dragged all over our fucking faces. Han Solo, Harrison Ford gets to be dragged all over our fucking faces, even though everybody knows that he has not wanted to do Star Wars for like thirty years, right. and yet they still give him enough money that he shows up. Yeah. So like, and so like, right? We got those two, right? Do you know who has not gotten shit in like all of the movies and the content and the TV shows? Fucking Jojo Leia. Binks. Leia. I mean, Jar Jar Binks too. You're right. You're right. There we go. You're right. right. But (laughs) but like Leia, everybody's like, I don't want to see Leia and Kenobi. And I'm like, fuck you. If Luke gets shit and Han gets shit and they all get shit, like Leia has had the least storytelling of the main three characters in Star Wars out of all of them for fucking 40 years. Like, let's fucking go. But like, but when, how old is she? How old would she be? I don't know. Like, like 30. 10 years old or something, right? No, in Kenobi? I think Kenobi oh, was well, hanging maybe. out while he's while he's kicking it on fucking tattooing, waiting around. Oh, maybe I don't know. That's but, the only like, thing. But I mean, like that. that but that's, like in this timeline, this timeline. She's I got older, you. In, in, it's in this time, oh no, that would be fucking rad. Yeah, that would be, that would like, be so rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's what I want. That's okay, I want. I want that. Yeah, it's like 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 just bring him in here. Um, Bill Burr and Pedro Pascal showing up for sure. Um, Mary Elizabeth Woodstead. Thank you. Could, Mary Elizabeth. I could not Winstead. remember yes, her name. Yeah, for sure. I've not had a pizza. Uh, uh yeah, I think I think that did I think that he's showing up. I think he's showing up. Yeah, because gonna... they played that music. <laughs> well, Pedro yeah. Pascal doesn't have to show up. Just somebody wearing somebody Jane wearing Arsene. his yeah. fucking shit. Yeah, yeah. Harrison yeah. Ford wearing his suit. Yeah. Oh my god, if Harrison Ford shows up just to play just to play Dinjarin, that would make my fucking life. <laughs> but it's still but the thing is, it's like he's gonna he's gonna have him give he's gonna do the same deal that he got for Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Where he's like, listen, I'm showing up in my own t shirt, and that's the only way. <laughs> That I'm gonna do this role, but he's it'll be him in a gray t-shirt, but with the helmet on. He's like, <laughs> listen, we gotta crash this plane. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. No, it's a it's a it's a fight, it's a ship suicide mission, and you need to crash into the, you need to crash it into the pikes. He's like, done deal, kid. I already got you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he'll be all about that shit. I even have my own plane. I, I even have it. my own plane. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, so um uh, You've been sitting on my throne for three days. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Oh my god. Um who else needs to do always tell me the odds? I'm so sorry. We got we got a little lost in the sauce with something. Sam, what do you got for me? Always tell me the odds. What do you think's coming up here in this in this uh in this year program? Well, obviously we're gonna be building an army, aren't we? We're gonna be gathering the 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 troop of of rebels and you know off off outcasts very true um hopefully we get a little bit of rancor riding we get a little bit of of bareback bear with me rancor riding mm-hmm. and um uh you know um i want to find out what the kids are up to because we just sort of got told they were off doing stuff we we're like it'd be nice right, to yeah that was like, checking like, with them yeah yeah maybe that- yeah, yeah. I, well, I think I. Hopefully, we will. That you want. Know that's maybe that's. I don't want to go back to McClucky mode, but that has been one uh, one other thing where it's like we. It just seems like there hasn't been much connective tissue, like of 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 elements that we introduce into the show, and then they are fucking mm. nowhere to be seen within the story. Mm-hmm. Like I know that yeah. the guy he was just yeah. kind of sitting there, and he goes like, "Yeah, the pikes are here, or whatever." Is so I'm on a hologram, and you know, you're making a joke about my eye, and et cetera, so forth. But like, they're not like integrated into the story like you know what i mean even mm-hmm. though we've we've taken them on they've become allies and stuff like that and kind of the same thing with like i don't know it's just like we get the twins and then they're gone and then yeah. we get fucking kind of bk broiler and then he kind of rolls out and then he's kind of there but he's not you know and i don't know there's just like it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of like i guess like uh permanence within the plot within these these kind of things these elements in these characters that they yeah, and that, that's what makes it episodic as opposed to serialized but i think mm-hmm. i think more serialization would do well yeah, yeah. I think I, i'm down mm-hmm. and you'd, you'd hope they pull it together at the end but then you know i know more than anyone i think that you know having too much hope end of a series is always a not always a good thing uh, <laughs> talking a season eight game of thrones um, <laughs> <laughs> no you um, wouldn't <laughs> you know uh uh, the one thing I want to see more of, actually, and I hope I see more of, is more like civilian shenanigans. Like, mm. I mean, it's it's probably the political side of me, but I just love all the like my little socialist heart skipped a beat when a guy went, "I am here representing the workers' district." Um, turned out he was a bit <laughs> of a union buster, but nonetheless, yeah, I was right. like, "Oh my god, there's a workers' district." That's that's I want to I want to go to the workers' district. I want to see the, you know, the. Haha, little struggles. did you know? Yeah. You know, 
Um, yeah, some that. dude who was like, I am the workers district and nobody like gave a shit enough to like disabuse him of that notion. Yeah. Right. yeah. No, I, I'm, I think, I think that's very well said, Sam, where it just like, again, we've talked about this before, like, like where we will spend, you know, like an inordinate, like there'll be all of this, like who could it possibly be is Darth Maul's fucking second cousin coming back or whatever the fuck it is and shit like that. And we'll just be talking about like the, you know, like, like the like the the water planet that all of the mon calamari were on and like they're fishermen and like how that world operates and stuff like that like the how the literal world of star wars and the regular people within it like look and feel and how they and and how they kind of behave i think is fascinating stuff and and i always love seeing more of that so i think that's very well said sam yeah um uh who else has got everybody gone but me um i want to i want to highlight um a a comment that um, Dustin posted in the chat box that was a little bit ago, so you might have to do some scrolling. Um, uh, oh, uh, from yeah. M eleven R R R S S. Hold on, hold on, yes. hold on, yes. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here you go. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. I would like to take a moment to spotlight all three Spider-Man show up in the finale. <laughs> Continuing our bit where where like Bo- Book of Boba Fett is the like machine that that pushes Star Wars into the Marvel universe. Right. And, like, yeah. I think it's great. I think it'll be awesome. You know, you get you get like Doctor Strange going, we can't hold it. Right. And then, right. And then Vinick Shan going, what the fuck is that? And then right. and then and then all the Spider-Man are like, we're here. <laughs> like you know like yes all they need is <laughs> one they need one more gamorian guard and they can do their own pointing meme like where they're all yeah. three of them are pointing at one another which is like yeah that, that would be so fucking good i would love that shit. yeah now the um uh yeah no no again like and we have like the, the overall and then pat Oswald is like the new thanos like like the yes. creator or something wow. like that or yes. whatever it is which he i think would be pretty like, cool. watcher isn't yeah. he more the watcher he could be the, the watcher. watcher he could be the watcher yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 he would definitely Absolutely. be the watcher um uh, uh he he and like kang and like jeffrey wright whoever jeffrey wright's playing in the marvel universe can all like fight for like fight for cosmic supremacy mm-hmm. and i think that would be a very interesting finale of the book of boba fett that'd be inter- yeah that would <laughs> be interesting um oh here, hold on we had here we go it's like boba's mother is the mother of rancors breaker, breaker of biker biker gang. Gang. <laughs> <laughs> damn straight he is absolutely goddamn lutely. um uh, oh, we were just saying thank you so much, sir. It's like saying, saying, can we appreciate how great it is that we haven't seen a single lightsaber in this show yet? And I'm glad that people are realizing that Star Wars is just a main guy, main main guy, gal with the force. I might eat my words. Um, I, you, we, we all might. I mean, like, like I, I, I think. Uh, no, I mean I um shout out to our, our homies the normies, but they just just posted a, a reaction to a bunch of them hadn't seen solo and they watched solo for the first time and they were just like, Man, people have fucking had like an enormous like people t- told me that this movie sucks. And I think that that movie is a lot of fucking fun. And I think that people are kind of coming around on it because hold on, hold on, what do we got? Oh, <laughs> I just want to give y'all. Oh no, this one's dead. Okay, this one's green, but this okay, one's that blue. One... <laughs> I just want to give y'all some Star Wars. We want to get no because Star because Star Wars is only light is only light swords. It's only lightsabers. It's only yeah. It's only it's only laser swords, and it's only like special dudes like you know with force stuff and magic powers and everything. I think no, babies. No, no, no. Sick. I mean, I am one hundred percent with you. Is is and I think that like. There is there is so much more to this world, and there's so much more that could be expressed within this world. I think that with and even like even just like you know, let's talk about force users, and they kind of dropped like uh, the the witches of Dathomir. Like, didn't they didn't they drop them or, or what was it? The um, uh, yeah, they referenced them because they were like uh, Machete was talking about Rancors. Yes, exactly. And, and, was, and said that they rode them right, and so like and 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 they're an interesting idea where it's like, and correct me if I'm wrong, Maddie, where it's like they are using the force but they don't really like call it by the they don't understand it as the force in in the ways that other people like understand it but it is like it is it but but it is it, it expresses itself in a kind of a mystic in a mysticism mysticism way as they yes. understand it so here's the thing about the force number one literally everybody has it this is a canon tenant fact of the force it exists everywhere and everything sure. and the thing about force sensitivity is that you are able to detect that and manipulate mm. it okay, okay. So that's that's how the force works. Number three, 
there is a, an aspect of the force called the wills, the W H I L L S, right? That is mostly signified in Rogue One, right? Which is the narrative aspect of the force. The wills, the wills are the the aspect of the force that literally pick, picks someone and goes, "You're the main character. Okay. I'm going to follow you." And that's it. That's what the wills are. The wills follow Luke. The wills follow Jin. The wills follow fucking Anakin Skywalker. The wills follow fucking whoever the wills follow Jin Jaren. like right. that is the that is the story mechanic of the force in right. star wars so ah. so but yes what about midichlorians um <laughs> you can get fucked <laughs> <laughs> Um, so maybe no, I, 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 like, I fight Maddie. I apologize. So, yeah, no, you're fine. You're, you no, no, that was, no, no, that was, that was, like, no, was great. Good. No, so but like the thing about <laughs> Metaclorians to actually answer your question is they are the like the noise gate of for the force within each individual person. Uh -huh. So like so like if you, like everybody has at least one Metaclorian. And um, if you don't, your force null, which is a whole other different thing, and it is actually kind of like a black hole of the force, which is right. really cool, and we can get into that, whatever. But like everybody has like one midichlorian at least, and if you don't, your force null. We're gonna ignore the force null; they're very complicated. And <laughs> but the more midichlorians you have, the more likely to be space Jesus you are. But most people go. are like ah. way down here, right? You know, most Jedi, most people are like here, most Jedi are like here, and then Anakin Skywalker is all the way up the fucking roof. So. That's how midichlorians work. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Into it. So, like, the, um, <laughs> no, like, boom. Like, like, and, the, and that's how that shit works. Pow. Like, pow. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, man. No. <laughs> so, um, no, no, no. Like, uh, yeah, I think that it, I'm, I'll co sign on just about everything that we've said as far as like, I think we're going to get some some rancor training. What I will say, I, am, I, I, I think I am with Maddie, is that we are going to get a secret flashback. But I do think the flashback to Tank is like, as a device, is done. I think that it's gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or at least I believe that it to be. I, I believe that it's like, you know, him getting in and then having like a like a dolly shot going in on him, like breathing in like his, you know, his little like kind of air thing or whatever the fuck it is. And then like is air and, snor his back to snorkel is back to snorkel for sure. And then like, and, and then going into like the green super grainy thing. And then we're in a, a memory. I think that that's totally done. And I'm super into that shit. Like I'm, I'm very into like being like ha having a bit more of a forward motion, like with the plot of this story and kind of like doing basically bringing all of, all of like the storytelling to bear, like on the present kind of conflict is like the thing that I kind of, I think I, I hope that they're going to kind of focus that on, and that's what I think that they will do. So, yeah. Um, oh my God, it's like Alex Jones is sending a million. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing, ladies and gentlemen. I will say one thing. As you've seen over here in Space Austin, I've been here and I have these midichlorian brain pills that you can have for forty for three easy payments of forty nine ninety five. We got to because we have to watch out because <laughs> putting all that they're putting all the bad midichlorians in the. I can't do it. I can't. I'm encouraging him, Thomas. Oh my God, I can't. Do it. No, it was like, yeah, they're they're just they're putting all the they're putting all those weird midichlorians in the in the water and just turning all the friggin' jar jars gay. All right, let me tell no, you. No, they're that one they're, thing. they're turning all the freaking Doshans trans. There you go. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, oh my God, I would like terrible. to shout out Ben Bamboo who said earlier, all Maddie needs is a denim jacket. No, earlier. Oh, oh, earlier. All Maddie needs is a denim jacket now to complete the authentic Star Wars look. I <laughs> there we go. I, I, love it. It. I love it. This is All one right. of my five denim jackets that I own. Do not at me at the time. <laughs> the blue milk I even person. have the Thanos snap. Thank oh, you. Oh, I love it. There you go. Excellent. Um, I also have the Kingslayer pin and the Wildfire pin that matches your tattoo, Sean. Oh, I like oh. that. Oh. Yeah. There we go. I'm into it. And, and I have the Join the Resistance for of here. Course. And um, I don't. I think that's the only Star Wars I have on this one. Oh, bring yeah. your Ray game. <laughs> bring your Ray game. <laughs> yep. I like that okay. one. Sorry. Oh my god. Just a fun little no, 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 no. I'm all about it. Um. All right. So anyway, I think we've gotten to all of our, all of our. And again, shout out to everybody uh, in the chat again. Like it's been an absolute fucking treat. You know, like as always and stuff. And thank you so much to everybody. Um. To the the, the big Appa, to Diana, to Marcus, to Jim Norton's alcoholism. One of my favorite. One of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Jim one of my favorite fucking yeah, like, here's to you Jim let's get his five o'clock right. somewhere let me 
Love you, love your show. Um, and then, uh, and thanks, obviously. All of you guys running in with the Super Chats, it's incredible. We appreciate you all very much for getting into the conversation um, and everything like that. Again, if you guys haven't been watching our reactions to this show, we implore that you do so. If you haven't been rolling in on our Patreon, we implore that you do so. We also implore you to give a couple of follows and a couple of likes and stuff like that to a few of our guests over here. So, Sam, where can people follow you? What do you got going on right now The people that you want people to be taking a look at over there? You can you can just find me at, at Sam Coleman actor. Um, I put the actor at the end because I'm insecure about my profession. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, you can just follow me on all of all of the socials. I get up to stuff, and I'm sometimes funny, and I play a lot of Wordle. If you're one of the Wordle crew, Ooh. you can see how many little green squares I get each day. Exciting. It was prick the other day, and I was like, "Are they allowed to do that?" <laughs> yeah, there's, there's another version called Swerdle, which is just swear words. Oh, yeah. oh, oh that's that our one. game. That's our. And I thought yeah. that I was on Swerdle when I was like, mm, "Is this Wordle or Swerdle?" <laughs> yeah, that's They're the kind right of content you get from me. Those kind of considerations. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And Maddie, where can people find you? Hi, I am uh, Maddie K Ultra on Instagram. I am Maddie K Plays on Twitter, and you can find me streaming video games on Twitch at Hillbilly Eilish, coined by Sean, if you recall. That's true. Um, and uh, I definitely recommend you guys check out the Watchers in the Bar uh, reactions of Arcane because it's my favorite thing. I and if you like their reactions and if you like the world, come watch me play League of Legends because I'm all about it. We actually have a live premiere coming up in about 20, about 19 minutes or something like that. And I got to say, um, if you stay for that one, it is the funniest. Oh, is this? Oh. Yeah. I can't yep. wait. I can't in, actual, in, actual, in actual fact, Sean, I, I knew that was coming. And do you know why I knew that was coming? Um, because I clicked subscribe and I clicked the little bell icon. I clicked the little bell icon. So (laughs) so I got a notification. Click that bell. Hit that motherfucking subscribe. (laughs) Dude, smash that shit, bro, for sure. So, I mean, if you can't take it from us, then you got to take it. You got to take it from the good Mr. Coleman. Again, put a fucking one in the chat if you appreciate the fact that we got ourselves an absolute bona fide legend with us over here. Put a one in the chat if you want to thank you. Thanks, Mr. Sam Coleman, for joining us today. We appreciate you very much, sir. Again, Maddie, we appreciate you as always. Like our our absolute like our uh, the the co the co-host, the special co-host of our dreams. Um, everybody, um, yeah, definitely check out. We got our we got an arcane video dropping soon, so we're gonna keep it up in the chat and everything like that. Thank you so much to the Draces, everything like that over there. We love you. We appreciate you. We appreciate y'all for hanging out. Come and get get at us next week. We're gonna have ourselves um, another very very special guest that um, I still am waiting to know if they're actually booked. But we, we like when I can confirm. I I cannot confirm confirm it. But we are gonna have ourselves another. Is it Han another- Solo? Harrison oh, Ford. <laughs> right. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's confirmed. Bosk confirmed. is gonna guest with us. Cool. Bosk is gonna guest with us. Yeah, it's gonna- Harrison Ford Mephisto? is playing Bosk. Mephisto confirmed. <laughs> and we're gonna get all three Spider Mans at some point, y'all. Exactly. I yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. For and CGI sure. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> and CGI Luke Skywalker. Jim yeah. Jab Luke is gonna be showing up for sure, man. It's gonna be great. The um. Uh, but anyway, just uh, keep it over here and keep it here for next week, um, at three thirty p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to check out the next Boba Brunch breakdown, which is when we're gonna have it, keep it here, y'all. Hit us up over there. Yeah. And again, take it from Sam. Do all the bell thingies, the subscribe thingies, all that other good stuff. We appreciate y'all for hanging out. And again, thank you to all of our super chats and all of the commenters over here. You guys have been an absolute delight each and every time. Ew, and we got we got 69 viewers going on right now. Nice. Hey, nice. All right, anyway, nice. anyway, you guys take it easy. We appreciate y'all, and we will check y'all later.